beginning linear algebra students sometimes have a hard time getting equations from story problems. So I picked a simple example from an open educational resource called Linear Algebra with Applications. And the link to this book is below the video. I'm going to show you a couple of ways that you can get the problem wrong. So pregnant zebra zookeeper has two supplements. Um, if he just gives the first, he'll be short on the vitamin A. If he gives the second, he'll be short on the vitamin D. So we need to come up with a mix that will get us to the required amounts of vitamin A and vitamin D. So the question is, how much supplement should he give the animal each day? And this is where students run into a problem. They start saying, okay, we need to have an equation with X and Y and try to solve this. And I don't know that I could solve this type of situation. There's really not enough information there. So let's not start with what we don't know. Let's try starting with what we do know. We do know vitamin A has to be 35 milligrams, vitamin D 60, and we're going to need a mix. So we also know the first supplement has so much vitamin A and D, second has so much vitamin A and D. And so let's just look at vitamin A first. If we have 10% of the X and 20% of the Y, and we add them together, we should get that 35 milligrams. Just looking at vitamin D, 30% of the X and 15% of the Y should give us the 60 milligrams. We don't know how much X and Y need to be, but we do have an equation. Actually, we have two equations with two unknowns. Remember back to that cautionary situation? We had one, two, three, four unknowns and only two equations. That's why I said I couldn't solve it. Now when I solve it, I actually multiply by 100 to get rid of decimals when I'm doing percents. Um, I tried it with 10 and that left me with a decimal here. So multiplying by 100 moves my decimal over two places and I don't have to write that anymore. So 10x plus 20y equals 3500. Remember you've got to multiply by 100 on both sides of the equation. And if I want to use elimination I can just multiply the, the first one by negative 3. Again both sides of the equation. And that will give me this negative 10,500. But when I add the two equations together, I don't have any more x's. I love it. And it's just a simple way, uh, situation. Solve for y. And I'm going to use the vitamin A formula. Throw the y in. 100 for y. Uh, use algebra to solve for x. Are they good answers? Um, this wasn't in the back of the book. It was an even problem instead of an odd. So I'm going to use the other equation to check. So for x, I'll throw in 150. For y, I'll throw in 100. And it works. So if I put a box around it and say I'm done, I'm going to get it wrong. I don't know if you've ever been in this situation, but it's almost a heart attack. But if you look back at the original problem, you see we had units and we had two supplements. We didn't have X and Y. X was standing for the first and Y was in place of the second. So how about let's go ahead and put first supplement and second supplement in. Happy teacher? Happy zookeeper.